What is going on guys? It is Trevor here from the Financial Liberty 2020 channel and I wanted to make a video today to talk about AMC stock. Um, I know a lot of people are looking at this one year chart that I have pulled up right here and what is that? That is like basically Bitcoin's chart. <laughs> like almost to a T. It's crazy how close AMC has traded with Bitcoin. Um, yeah, but anyway, no really, everyone's wondering, has AMC bottomed? Like has it actually bottomed? We can see that this kind of 38, uh, 42, 40-ish area has been a bottom recently for the past three months or so. But is this a bubble? Is AMC a bubble? Are the retail investors gonna get out? Is the short squeeze over? I'm about to answer all that in this video right here, right now. And before we get started, let me say, if you are an AMC bull, smash that like button below and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more AMC content. Thank you so much. In this video, I'm going to discuss the amount of short interest on AMC stock, um, different people as well as things, let's say things that are supporting AMC stock that could change a lot of people's mindsets about whether it's overvalued and whether it's not overvalued, as well as what I'm personally going to do with the stock, whether I'm buying, whether I'm selling, whether I'm shorting. I can, I can tell you right now, I'm definitely not shorting AMC stock. That is an absolute not. I am not going to be doing that. But just remember, no matter what, guys, that last month, AMC raised more than $1 billion to further expansion and growth and got basically themselves almost completely out of debt. They completely saved them when they raised this more than $1 billion. I definitely do not believe the FUD surrounding AMC stock and what all these hedge funds and mutual funds are trying to get you to believe. believe. So you're going to want to stick around to the end to find out exactly what I want to do with this stock and what I'm personally going to do. Okay guys, so here I have the short interest for AMC pulled up and we can see the shares float right now are about 500 million compared to the actual short shares are 85 million shares short right now, which is 17% of the total float of shares of AMC which is pretty incredible that people are actually still willing to short AMC especially at like prime times right now where it's at a bottom and it's gonna go one way or the other and recent history shows you that it's gonna go up and past history maybe shows that it has a little bit of decline that it can possibly do but let me say guys AMC does not trade like any other stock doesn't matter like Am I saying that AMC is going to go to $100? I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you think that you can just justify AMC and short it yourself, then go ahead. Um, I do not recommend it. And let me tell you why. Number one, artificial intelligence is on our side. Check this out. There's an AI-based ETF, so it's all computer-based. This entire exchange-traded fund is basically, it makes all of its picks and all of its sells through artificial intelligence. Basically what it did is it sold a significant portion of Facebook and Walmart and it bought AMC. So check this out. Why did it do that? So this article goes in to say that basically it sold a lot of Home Depot, Adobe, and Texas Instruments. All of those have ran up a lot. So they're, they're quite a premium and so is AMC. But like I said, AMC is not like any other stock. It says this ETF has also bought recent shares in Match Group, Fortinet, as well as O'Reilly Automotive. And it's been holding on to AutoZone and Zebra Technologies Corp. Now it says that AMC Entertainment has been added to the portfolio this month with a 2.34% with a 2.34% weighting. So not too big of a weighting in this ETF, but they clearly like the potential that AMC has. The movie theater's chain stock is up 2,078% year to date thanks to a short squeeze conducted by retail investors that refer to themselves as apes. If you're an ape, make sure to subscribe. Prior to the rebalancing, the ETF had Facebook, Walmart, Home Depot, Adobe, and Texas Instruments as five largest stock holdings. So that's prior to this rebalancing. So this is crazy. This is a big move by this by this ETF. So number one, AMC has artificial intelligence on its side. Number two, check this out. Number two is this guy. The Roaring Kitty is crazy. Okay, guys, on a serious note, has AMC bottomed? I don't think anyone really knows. With 17% of the float shorted and a significant portion of that by institutions, I believe it was 34%. Um, you know, anything could happen. Still, anything could happen, and it's going to be crazy to find out. At this price, <clears throat> at a $21 billion mark cap, am I going to bet the house on AMC stock? No, I'm not going to do that. And if you guys want to do that, you can, and it could turn out amazing for you. And power to you, AMC to the moon, guys. I mean, I'm a AMC bull, but all I'm saying is if it does pull back a little bit, I'm there to buy. I'm there to buy some more AMC stock, and let's do it. Let's get this thing to the moon and see how high it can go. 
just know that you do have a market cap right now of $21 billion. So you are paying a premium for AMC right now. That being said, could it go to 100, 200, 300? Who knows? It all depends upon if there is an actual short squeeze, how many shares people actually buy and a hodl, you know? That's what has to happen. And for that to happen, I mean, basically for an $84 stock price, you're gonna have to have a $42 billion market cap. So if there's $20 billion that can come into this stock, then yeah, you got $80 tomorrow. If it goes to you know a $60 billion market cap, you have $120 stock price. So it's all about how many billions can this AMC stock rally? How many can it do? Your guess is as good as mine. Leave it in the comment sections below whether you think it's going to be another short squeeze and what your price prediction for AMC is going to be. Um, like I said, just a slight bit of technical analysis. You can see that we are at quite the inflection point right now. At $40, uh, it's been a good buy price in the past three months. All right, guys, that basically concludes my video. I appreciate you guys watching until the end. You guys are the real MVPs. And please, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Don't be shy. Smash it for me. That way you can see all the rest of my more AMC content, as well as other content I have about long-term investments, credit building, real estate, things of that nature. So don't forget, smash that sub button. We need subs over here. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great night. AMC to the moon.